Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are developing a report in which we are using the new syntaxes. In the previous video, I explained why in which scenario you need to put a loop on header. In which scenario you can directly put a loop on item and I explained yes by taking the test data. Now, if I will go here, now if I will show you, still this logic will not display 117. Suppose if I am putting a breakpoint. Suppose I am giving that date, suppose 21st August. I will go for OK. Because many people will ask, yes, we understood, yes, we are putting a loop on VBAK. But still, we are not getting 117 in the output. You can see in this internal table, we have 117. But item data is not there. It means in LTBBAP, there are zero records. Now loop will come. Now I am on to this 54 number line. Now it will check into this internal table. Do you have this particular sales order number 117? It is not there. It means this loop will not execute. Okay, it will simply, simply come on to here. Now you can see inner loop has not executed. But in the inner loop itself, we have put the append statement. We are appending it to outer internal table, but it has not executed. If it has not executed, how data will go to output internal table? It will never, never go. So we have to handle both the scenarios. If data is in header, then we, if data is in header, but not in item, still we need to append. If data is in item and header and item both, then anyways, we have written the logic for the append. Now I will handle this part also. I will go to back button. You can see. Now, if the item data is not there, this loop will never execute. It means after this, we will write a append statement. We'll simply, simply go for this logic. I will go for this because we only have the VBELN, rest all things will be blank, rest all data will be blank. Now I am writing append, I will just copy this, append LWA output to LT underscore out. So what we are doing? We are passing that data to work area from work area to internal table. So this logic will execute whenever the inner inner loop will not execute. Yes. Now I will simply run and show you. Again, we need to go for score changes. I will show you it will fail in one scenario. I'll put a breakpoint. And without debugging, you cannot analyze yes how the things are going on. I will go for 21st August. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now you can see for a 117 item data is not there. It means this inner loop will not execute. Control will come, this loop will finish and control will come here. Now. All other things are blank. We are not getting other things. Only, only we have the VBELN. So now we are passing it to work area. You can see this work area. We have 117. Header data is there, but item data is not there. Now we are appending. You can see we are appending. And now this record will come in the output. Yes, it will come. And this is what customer bought. Now it because whenever you are going for code changes, your code should not impact the other things. Now, how we will do now? Just see how it will be. Suppose now I'm running 21st August to 22nd August. Now I will show you. 
now it will fail for those result those records where we have had an item both suppose this internal table four records 74 75 76 117 now this inner loop has 74 75 76 but 117 is not there just see how it will be firstly first record will go to work area what is work area bbeln 74 okay it will check in the item table do we have 74 yes it will append to this internal table lt underscore output lt output we have this 74 now just see when this loop will finish inner loop will finish this logic will execute and it will append the data again but this is not what we want if this will execute you can see in this internal table we have this 74 two times this is not our requirement we only only want to append this logic should only only execute when the item data is not there if the item data is there append is anyways executing then we this append should not execute so how how we will handle this very easy very i will just take a flag very easy just Suppose if this inner loop append is executing, I am writing data. We we'll have to go for inline data declaration. LV underscore flag is equal to capital X. I am setting one flag to capital X. And here I am checking if LV underscore flag is initial or you all, you all know is initial means is space is blank now just see how it will execute i'm just clearing the work area i will check the syntax very important without debugging you cannot come on to the conclusion now just see how it will work now it will give the correct Suppose I am going for 21st August to 22nd August. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, firstly, 74. 74 is both header and item. So it is appending to this internal table. Whenever I append it to this internal table, yes, we are setting the flag to capital X. We set the flag to capital X. Yes. Now system will come here. Is this flag capital X? No, this flag is not capital X. So this if condition false. So this statement will not execute that. Now we will come to next. Now this inner loop. Again, we have 75. Yes, we have 75. So this flag again setting to capital X. Yes, this flag again setting to capital X anyways one time. Now you can see 75 is both. Is the flag initial? No flag is X, X. So it will not execute. This is what we want. Now control will come for 76. 76 both? Yes, 76 both. Flag is setting to capital X. Okay. Next record of 76. So we have 76. Now you can see 76. Both header and item. Is this flag initial? This flag is capital X. Now last. Now fourth. You can see now we have the VBELN 717. VBELN is not here. Whenever VBELN is not here, it means this inner loop will not execute. Whenever this inner loop will not execute, yes, now you can see this inner loop is not executing. Now control came here. Have you seen? Still the flag is capital X. Just realize what the mistake we did. Now, whenever we are setting the flag to capital X, we should also, also clear this particular flag. 
because what we did, the flag is setting to capital X. So it is set. We are not clearing the flag. If we will not clear the flag, it means what will happen? This logic will not execute. I told debugging is the most powerful solution because we set the flag to capital X. So after processing, we should always, always clear this flag also. So now we will clear this flag. So how I will clear this flag? I will simply, simply write clear. Clear LV underscore flag. Once it will check that this logic should execute or not execute, it should clear the flag. If it is there, again, it will set. The small, small things will help you to find the solution. Just see here. Now I will show you how it will work. I will just put a date. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now, I will simply, simply put a breakpoint here. I will do F8. Okay. F8. F8. Third time. Now, I will show you fourth. Now, this is the fourth iteration going on. You can see the side tab is four. It means fourth iteration. What is VBELN 117? Now, we clear the flag for first three records, done. But we are clearing the flag also. Now, you can see this inner loop will not execute. Whenever inner loop will not execute, flag will not be capital X. Now, you can see, is this flag initial? Yes, this flag is initial. When this flag will be initial, you can see this internal table, we have 74, 75, 76. Now this 117 also will append. Now you can see we have 117. 117. Now next most most important point. Have you seen 117 is there but still we are getting the item data. Item data. Now just think why why this item data is coming. Because for 117 item data is not there. Have you seen? It is just taking it from previous line item, previous line item. It means we should clear the previous work areas also. It is very, very important. That's why I'm showing everything in the debugging mode. I'm doing the mistakes because I can write at the initial level itself. I practiced all those things, but I want to show you in the debugging mode. Firstly, I have not cleared the flag. Then I show you why the clearing of flag is initial, is required. Now, after that, I have not cleared the work area. I want to show you that I am getting it wrong. 117, item data is not there. So it is simply, simply taking from the last work area. It means you should clear the work areas also. I will clear the work areas. Now, after appending, okay. Now, after appending, we will clear the other work areas also. Whatever we are using, I will clear LWAVBAP also. I will clear LWAMAKAP also. Please do not clear VBAK because you are using VBAK in the where condition. Otherwise, what will happen? It will go for first. But next time, if the same sales order number is there, you have cleared the work area, so it will not process. So in this loop, you are going for, you are using VBAP. Yes, so clear VBAP, clear MAKAP also. I will check the syntax and now I will activate. It is very important to understand that debugging. Now I will show. I will just run. Because it is still taking the last record values, yes. So you should clear the work areas. Now, if I will do F8, first time, done. Now, again, F8, again, F8. Now, you can see, do we have 117? Yes, we have 117. 
Now, if I will show you, you can see LV flag is initial. Yes. Now we are appending it to this internal table. Now you can see in LT output, we have all the previous things, but other things are flagged. So work area, sometimes clearing of work area becomes extremely, extremely important because of that other things are getting or other issues are coming. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important video from the logic perspective, real project work, because in real projects, we are getting this kinds of requirement. So what we did, I told, Yes, if customer is saying item data is not compulsory, then we need to put a loop on VBAK. Now, but we saw, yes, we are getting 117 in VBAK. Still, it is not coming in the output because we are appending logic to output internal table is in the inner loop. And this loop is not executing. So we have put a statement to append to our internal table outside this loop. Then what happened? 117 is working fine. But for those sales order, we have the data in header and item. We are going for duplicate entries because this logic is also executing. This is also executing. So what we did, we want this logic to execute whenever the item data is not there. So what we did, whenever your item data is executing, I put a flag to X. And whenever we are checking, and I am checking, this flag should be space. It means whenever item data logic is executing, this logic will not execute. Then we have a mistake that whenever you are checking, you are not clearing the work area, you are not clearing the flag. Then what happened? This flag always, always remained X. So after checking this, you should always clear the work area. Then again, one mistake came your previous work areas are bringing the values to you and you should clear the work areas also so that the previous value will not replicate into the new sales order number. So this is all about, we cover so many permutation and combination. In the next video, we will create field catalog. You all know field catalog is an internal table. So we will use again value operator. Then we will display the output using AMP. So that's it in this video. Thank you.